Anyway, today is Brick's fifth day birthday, and he's looking super cute today. He's getting a little chunkier, a little longer. He's eating a lot more, which is really, really good, but not with the diaper situation, because he's going a lot more. <laughs> so, um, he actually just went just a minute ago, So, but we'll wait <laughs> until we're done. Um, so, today... Um, we were supposed to have an appointment with the pediatrician, but due to not getting the light soon enough and he wasn't feeling very well, um, we weren't able to get him on it as fast as the pediatrician would want us to. So I felt like, and Michael felt like, that there was probably going to be no difference maybe in the levels because he didn't really be on the, he was on the light long enough. We went and got, um, well, I went to Whole Foods. And Basically, the point is, is that, uh, there's no reason to recheck him when we haven't even applied the current remedies. So um, we are doing that now, and he's already, and, and and again, he, you know, he's looking really good. So if there were, if he had a fever, you know, or if his color was getting worse, um, things like that, then you know, of course, we would come right in. But he, but he, everything about him is improving, and uh, we haven't applied the, the two remedies, which is the light source and the vitamin D. But um, yeah, I actually had a chance to go to Whole Foods today. And uh, how'd that go? It went well. I went to go find um, vitamin D drops for our baby. And it took me a while to find it, but uh, Michael wanted to make sure it was USDA. It was also made here in the States. And I did find one that was USDA. And, and it was only $100. <laughs> yeah. It was only <laughs> no, it was a lot cheaper than that. But for the size of it, 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 it could have been $100. How much did that thing cost? It was, only, it was $18 because it was USDA. It was $18, but it was like three raindrops. I mean, come on now. Yeah, they had other ones that were like $9. So, but you know, if you go USDA, which we like to do, um, it's, you're going to pay a little more. So, but um, yeah, I got the drops and then I also got some extra items because we do love their juice there. We love because they have all USDA. So I got juice, of course, ice cream <laughs> and um of course, spinach. We were almost out of that. Wait, you got ice cream? Yeah, I got ice cream. Sandwich. I think you just gave your secret away because you did not tell me that you got ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I got the ice cream sandwich. And ladies and gentlemen, she said that she got ice cream, but, but now what she's demonstrated is that we got ice cream. <laughs> well, eventually you would find it. <laughs> yes, I got his ice cream sandwich. That's not necessarily true. Sometimes you have hiding places and I, all I get is like an empty carton in the trash. I'm like, where'd that come from? <laughs> Yeah, but it's... You see, it's my job to take out the trash, so I do find out all goodies at some point. <laughs> Unless you know how to hide very well. <laughs> but yeah, I got USDA um, ice cream sandwiches and the juice and our spinach and apples. Because um, I do love to get USDA because you know you're, you're eating really good. So yeah, so I came back and um, we did. I did grab some food for me and Michael. And we put a drop in my breast milk. For a brick, and we took him outside. A vitamin D drop is what you're saying, right? Yeah, a vitamin D drop we put in his breast milk, and we went outside to put him in the sun too, um, so he gets some fresh air. We live in a really well. Hot don't downsell it. I mean, we didn't just go outside. We had a proper picnic. Yes, we had a proper picnic. <laughs> in fact, that was Brick's first picnic. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it was. So we ate out there. Alice, our dog, came out, and she loves to sunbathe, which is super hilarious. She'll just go out and just lay flat on her side and get the sun. Yeah, do any, do any of you out there have dogs that sunbathe? It's a little odd. Traditionally, I've noticed dogs look for a shaded area. My dog goes right out to the, the most cancerous area and just spreads eagle and just, <laughs> just enjoys it for a good 20 minutes until she's panting. Yeah, that's what she does. So we did that, and... Um, we had Brick out in the sun for like five minutes because, you know, he has sensitive skin. And then we um, came back into the shade and kept eating and we talked, um, discussing a lot of fun topics. After that, we came in and... Um, and then you had to start pumping breast milk, right? Yeah, I had to pump breast milk. And the cool thing is I'm starting to get ahead. I'm so excited. Usually I'm not ahead. So I'm starting to get ahead because I'm starting to flourish more, which is super exciting. So... Yeah, we're just trying to get it in them just until uh, the jaundice levels come down. Then I'll, once again, I'll um, 
do my best to uh, try the breastfeeding again and stuff. But as long as the breast milk's getting in them, what our pe pediatrician said, she's like, as long as it's getting in, she's like, I don't care, which I'm super happy about. So. <laughs> and weren't you saying you were having some luck with the uh, coconut oil, US USDA oh, coconut oil? Yes. So I use USDA coconut oil, and I just got, I love that stuff. I used it on my belly when I was pregnant, all over my skin, and. Um, I was actually, I had a bad toothache when I was pregnant. I was probably, I was in my third trimester, so I was about seven months pregnant, and um, I got a bad toothache, and I did I know you could go to the dentist, but I didn't want to go because I didn't want the drugs to get into brick in any way, if possible. Yeah, children being high prenatally, uh, not ideal. No, and I don't numb well either, so they have to like shoot me up like probably five, six, seven times before I can not feel anymore. So my mom had the idea of like, why don't you try just put coconut oil up there? And I did, and it started um, feeling better. So I've actually been brushing with coconut oil and of course toothpaste. Oh, there he goes. Uh, that was a break dance move. Oh, can you still see him? He just did his, he just did his very first break dance move. I'm not lying. I literally just saw him do his first break dance move. Can you still see him though? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, so I used the USDA coconut oil, of course USDA, that's what we're all about, <laughs> and um, it is amazing, I recommend it, I can't believe... Oh, there's another breakdance move, just happened. <laughs> um, I can't believe, uh, you know, some people haven't mentioned it, that it works, because I've actually had no pain since, I mean, I went from, I felt like I was going to die, and want to rip my tooth out, to everything's good, woohoo, so... I definitely recommend coconut oil to use to brush your teeth. If you actually read up on it, it's actually good for your teeth as well. So then I decided, well, you know, if it's good for my teeth, it's good for my skin, I'm going to use it for um, breastfeeding because... What we basically discovered is that coconut oil is the duct tape of biology. Yes, it is. <laughs> so every time um, I'm pumping after or before, I actually put it on my chest and it's been such a lifesaver. It, I'm, I'm not sore. I'm not sore at all. It really helps huge. So it's been e a lot easier for me to breast, um, to use the pump. So yeah, I love it. I use that stuff for everything that I could possibly use. I mean, it's here for a reason. So <laughs> gotta use what God gave us. So I love coconut oil, USDA all the way. <laughs> so. <laughs> so that's been working out really good and getting a lot more milk out. I started pumping Actually, last night it started like flourishing more, I've noticed. It's coming like crazy, so I'm so excited to catch up and not be behind for break. So, it's usually at the pump and then feed them, but now I'm like pumping ahead of time, so it's awesome. Yeah, before that started to accelerate, it was like a, it was like a horse race, and uh, that's one of the reasons why we've been so tired is because we've been just trying to keep up with them. I mean, you feed the child every two hours, and you know, it's like, you're pumping and then you gotta feed them and then pump and feed and change the diaper and sleep and pump and feed and change the diaper. So basically, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, eat, sleep, poop, repeat. Eat, sleep, poop, repeat. Eat, sleep, poop, repeat. That, that's true. <laughs> that is very true. But yeah, he's doing good. Um, I, I believe his color's looking better, his eyes are getting more white again, so yeah, I mean, as long as he's pooping and peeing 24-7 practically, flushing it out, he's good. So, but we probably will have an appointment tomorrow or Friday with our pediatrician just to check to make sure everything's good, but I believe everything will be good because he looks really good, so... Yeah. The, cha the change that made me feel uh, more confident is the white in his eyes. Yeah. So his eyes are starting to get much more white. Um, they looked a little yellowish at the beginning, which is one of the traits of, uh, for what we're concerned about. Yeah, yeah, so his eyes are looking a lot better, which is really good. You just want the best for your child, so yeah, everything's going good. What else do we have going on today? Let's see, we're going to go on a walk later today because we always go on a walk. Um, we live in a pretty quiet, nice area, so yeah, it's, we have a lot of trees. You can see a lot of the different mountains around the valley. So it's really nice to go on walks. And it's actually really nice today here in La uh, Las Vegas. It's a nice cool breeze going on. 
Love it. I'm so glad it's cooled down a lot because it was getting a little bit hot. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> so. At some point, we're going back to California, but I will tell you, there's a few months in Vegas where I'm like, I could get used to this. It's real nice. That's very true, but when uh, June and July hits, you want to leave. <laughs> it gets way too hot. Way, way too hot. You just want to be thankful you have an air conditioning in your place. So, yeah. So everything's going good. Um, Brick's been having a good fifth day birthday, and we're excited to do his sixth day tomorrow. But there is one of I, I still haven't got to uh, the Japanese. I did a little. I did when you were gone and you got the USDA. Uh, I was able to get Spanish in with him, but I still have to do the Japanese and scales. Oh, but we did have a pretty much. We, actually, we did have a complete full band practice today which was awesome. So I got through a ball, picking different tempos for songs, playing around with them. And, you know, I mean, he is, he's at one with music because he just, you know, sleeps right through it. So I love it. He's going to be a musical guy. And we already had his uh, hearing tested, so we know he can hear. Um, so I guess he uh, feels at peace with the creativityness from his dada. <laughs> That's true, yeah. So everything's going great. Um, we'll definitely be filming uh, Cutie Brick for tomorrow for a six day birthday. So we're super excited. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, and thank you so much for all the amazing comments you guys have been giving us and the advice, we really love it. So thank you again so much. And remember, no matter how different we may be, if we treat each other with respect, we can always be friends. Keep that in your heart, keep that in your mind, and we will see you tomorrow.